this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play This Guy 2! Since last time, I accidentally overwrote my save file, so I had to redo what I did in the previous episode and rebuy weapons, so the specialists are slightly different, but it's not a big deal either way. I just thought I'd let you know my numbers are very slightly different from where I left off. So, let's go through the next tutorial battle. What do we got here? Whoa, what's all that blue and red stuff? Sure, let's take a look around. But yeah, these are basically kind of like terrain effects in a way. And they have different effects on the battlefield who, of anyone who's on those tiles. The effect is generated by those pyramid or ge geo symbols there. So yeah, let's see how that works. Well, yeah, we already kind of did. But anyway, you see in the upper left, that means that the enemy, or any enemies that are on those blue tiles it will have their stats boosted by 50%. I think it's more than just the attack and physical defense stats. But I don't think it, it's not, it doesn't include their HP or SP, I don't think. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you can either try to lure them off of the blue geo panels so they can't deal more damage to you. Or you could just destroy the geo symbols outright and then you don't have to worry about that. But we'll go over that in just a moment. But anyway, okay, so let's see. I want Roslyn to destroy that geo symbol there. So let's bring out my fighter. And Rosalyn. And lift her up. Can I throw her any farther? Nope, that's about it. Okay. So now, what I want to do, get in range of the Geo symbol there. And I'm going to use Triburst on it. And by the way, one thing I forgot to mention about Triburst is that unlike the first game, it's not Ice Elemental. So you want to keep that in mind. And also, whenever you, you're done using a character, if you hold the square button and then press the direct d-pad in whatever direction you want, you can change whatever direction they're facing. And since there's nothing over here, enemies can't attack me from that direction. So if I'm on the edge of a map, I want to face outward from that direction so they can't hit me from behind. But now I want to start taking out those printings. So let's see. Yeah, why don't we have Adele take out this guy? I could have lured that printy over to the red geo panels, which basically means that the experience I would gain from killing it would be increased there. But it's not really that significant early on, so I just wanted to get it out of the way and kill the printy and be done with it. Okay, so now what I want to do, I actually want to lure... Well, hmm... Yeah, that printy is kind of blocking me from getting over to the red panels. Hmm. Yeah, just kill the printy. Be done with it. I was I was thinking about luring it over to the red geo panels, but I have patience problems, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do want to get a little more experience from this guy. Let's see, how are we doing? Okay, Roslyn just gained a level, and I'm not in range of the other printy. So let's just move along then. Hmm, I can't use triple strike against the printy there because if I go from this direction, yeah, the yellow part of the attack range, that's where the enemy is going to land and you can't knock them off the edge of the battlefield. That's another game of yours. And I can't do it here because the geo symbol is there. So I'm going to just have to use a regular attack. Now also, unlike the first game, let me see if I can't demonstrate this. You can't lift an enemy and then throw them onto a geo panel to destroy it anymore. They removed that ability. So, yeah, we're going to have to watch out for that. In the first game, you could, and that was, like, really good. But now, not so much. So I'm going to try to do a combo between Roslyn and Adele here. Just, oh. I was going to say soften them up, but no! I didn't think she could kill them in one shot like that. You have selected Power Drive. 
Okay, so, took care of that battle there. Let's heal up. I'll probably give some, quite a few kills to Adele in this one. Because, yeah, he's a little behind on experience to Rosalind. It's not a big deal, though. And now, we got our first prize from the hospital here. Once you've restored or healed up 50 SP, you can get a common orb here. Now, you see how it has the rarity and the specialists there? If you leave and come back in, it'll re-randomize those. And remember what one of the NPCs was saying, if... Yeah, there it is. If you keep on doing that, eventually you will get a rare common orb, which means you will have 25% more of the base stats of that. And where it says rarity, 15, any item with a rarity number between 8 and 31 will be rare. 0 through 7 is legendary, and anything over 32 or more is a common item. And they don't get any stat boosts there. But now, I want to give the common orb to Adele, because he doesn't get quite as much SP as Rosalind does from level ups. So, yeah, he could use all the help we can get. So now, we got the common orb equipped, so let's just rest restore up to full, and so... Whatever that stuff I got. Yeah, ramen. Yeah, I'm not going to be using that anytime soon. Okay, so we got one more tutorial to go through. So let's see. What was it? Oh, right, right. I was having a brain fart there for some reason. So what do we got? Yeah, sure. Let's take a look at this. Well, we may not have a choice. You can't run from battles. Not many SRPGs do that, huh? So anyway, this is similar to the one that we had before. And this time we're going to learn about manipulating the geo panels and the effects that, that, that can be generated on them and it doesn't matter what color the geo symbol is relative to the color of the geo panels as long as that geo symbol is on there it's going to produce that effect regardless of color but there is a difference when it comes to destroying geo panels or effects Now, last time, when, or in the previous battle there, I had Rosalind destroy the Geo symbol, but that was already blue, so nothing happened. It was the same color. But in this case, because the color of the Geo symbol is different from the panels there, if you destroy the Geo symbol, it'll change the color of all those Geo panels there. In this case, it'll change it to yellow there. So you destroy the geo symbol, and it starts exploding there. And anyone who's on the geo panels that are being changed color, they'll take some damage. So you shouldn't have really put Adele right on top of them when we could have just as easily moved him on the neutral terrain and not taking damage. I could have attacked the Geo symbol from there. So, yeah, if you can avoid that, that would be nice. Usually you can. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of Geo effects. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but this game has quite a few new ones compared to the first game, so we'll want to watch out for that. Well, she has a gun. How hard could it possibly be to teach someone to kill someone with it? Or printies. But anyway, okay, now the real battle, we got many Geo symbols, so here's what I want to do. First, let's where is it? Yeah. I want to change it to fast geo panel animations so that way this doesn't take forever. 
Now what I want to do is use Rosalind and do what she was doing before in the tutorial. I want to throw that to the yellow ones. Or to the red ones there. And the reason I'm using Rosalind there is because this Prinny will be in range of her. And I don't want to kill the Prinny just yet. So now, let's see, I'll move Adele there. Now, in order to use the binding or hotkey to throwing, you want to have the character face whatever direction you want to lift someone or a geo symbol from. So if I'm facing this way, I get that one. If I face the other way, I'll grab that one. And that's what I want to do first. I want to put both of those over there. The reason I'm doing it over there is because the blue geo pant or geo symbol won't have any effect on the blue ones because they're already blue to begin with so pass the turn get moving Pretty dude. okay now as far as geo symbols go let's move that one over here so now what I want to do is I want to get Roslyn over here because from th this spot to up there, Adele can't punch that Geo symbol because it's more than 12 dimensions or whatever DM stands for. It's more than a difference of 12 height. So I can't hit that with a melee attack. So I need Roslyn to take care of that for me. So I'm going to move her there defend and let's see i would like to be able to draw this printy out too i want to get all the printies off the geo symbols if i can because i don't want to kill them with the geo panels exploding because then i don't get any experience for killing them that way okay we're looking good there let's move along let's see okay good good Dude. i didn't want her to get quite trapped like that but whatever Dude. That'll be fine. Pretty good. She'll live. And even if she doesn't, I don't care. Okay, so now I've got them all off there. So let's move Roslyn here. And let's kill that Geo symbol. And fast forward! Killing all the Geo panels. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, whenever you perform a geo chain like that, yeah, it raises the bonus gauge a lot. And that means you get more stuff from the bonus list here. For right now, like during most of the main storyline, I wouldn't worry about the bonus list. But that's how you get items at the end of a battle there. Okay, so we got the geo panels out of the way so now let's get back in action there and let's have adele hmm yeah let's kill hmm. no i want you to go there kill that one. Oh, i could have used it from the side whatever not a big deal but anyway i just wanted to make sure that my party member there would be able to make it all the way around. Yeah, she could have anyway. I thought she might have had a movement range of three. But no, that's the mage there. I got them mixed up Dude. a bit. Dude! Hmm, I'm surprised you didn't counterattack there. Okay, well anyway, Adele needs the experience. So let's keep moving around. Not worried about the experience for the generics there, but... Okay, so, got that. Yeah, you're even enough, but... Yeah, I can't get close enough to use Triburst, but that's okay. Alright! Well, that's all for the tutorial levels, then. Now, let's keep on moving, then. Another nice thing about the PC version of the game... Okay. Oh, hold on. So why are you so weak? I mean... You are Overlord Xenon's daughter, right? Well, you're at level one, too. S Silence! Well, you I were. I am the daughter of the legendary Overlord Xenon. But I have never had to fight before. Not even once. Well, I think you would have had the gene. I lived in...
in a beautiful mansion with hundreds of servants and everything I ever wanted. So why would I ever need to learn to fight? For fun? Fighting is for the lower classes. It is our duty as nobles to use those fights to improve our kingdom and subjects. Well, your dad did a pretty terrible job. So, you're the overlord's precious spoiled daughter. How cliche. What? You must be very important to him. Evidently. That's right, I am. My father cherishes me. Is it not the same with humans? That is what I have read in my textbooks. Parental love, family love. Well, apparently not Adele's parents. They don't they have no problem sacrificing their children. Were my textbooks wrong? No, they got it right. I'm fighting for my family, too. Oh, yeah, and by the way, with um, throwing, lifting and throwing, I'm one thing I wanted to mention is I'm not going to be abusing uh, th diagonal throwing to glitch through no-entry geopanels. I'll go over that a little more later, but I'm not going to break the game like that. But anyway, now that we're done with all the tutorial battles, we have, well, the Dark Assembly is available now. So there's certain bills that we can pass to unlock certain abilities or effects, or sometimes entire battles there. You can also use them to unlock certain job classes. Unlike the first game, they don't automatically unlock when you fulfill the condition, you have to well, do that first, and then pass another bill to do that. So, it's easier to be aware of when you have done something to unlock a particular job class. But, I'm going to be getting rid of those uh, generics that they gave us now. Partially because of how the mental, er, no, um, mentor and pupil system work. And they're not really going to be that useful to me. Oh, yeah, we got access to a whole bunch of job classes there. But who should we add into our party first? Find out next time on Let's Play Disgaea 2. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.